Hi everyone, my name's Mariam and today I'm going to be filming a glam get ready with me. This would be the makeup I would wear if I was going out to meet my mates, but I'm not. I'm probably just going to FaceTime them after this. Um, I know this is a really uncertain time for a lot of us and one thing that I have found that's really helped me is to just take a little bit of time out of my day um, just to kind of put makeup on. I find it really therapeutic and it's just made my days feel a little bit calmer. So I hope that you find this video helpful and that it also inspires you a little bit as well. But let's jump right into it. The first product I'm going to start off with is BFF in Dark. Pop that on like I would moisturiser. It just gives me the glow that I'm looking for. Your SPF 30 in here as well, so you've got your sun protection. And then you'll start to see as you rub it in, the colour starts to change. Um, and it just helps to even the skin out and make your complexion look more smooth, which is what we all want. And that's just BFF on its own, and that's already made a difference and evened my skin out a lot, which is great. A little bit of the lip treats in Anna to prep my lips. I'm going to do a bold lip, so I want my lips to be nice and hydrated when it comes to doing that. This is a really nice one because you've got hyaluronic acid in here, and it also has no petroleum in there, so it's just really great for prepping the lips. The next product I'm going to go in with is the BFF Eye and the shade that I'm wearing is Kemi. I take a tiny bit on my ring finger, dab any excess off on the side of my hand or the back of my hand. Start like on the inner part of my eye, blend that out. I don't go in with too much product too quickly. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Just a Touch and the shade that I'm going to wear is Live. And I'm just going to use that in the areas where I want a little bit more coverage. So I usually do that just through the centre, a little bit on my chin, and then if I've got any blemishes anywhere. A good tip is, if you want to keep the coverage in a certain area, tap it on and you'll keep that coverage where you need it. You can just see it's just starting to even out my skin really nicely. Oh, it looks so glowy. I love it. I'm going to go in with our bronzer, and this is the one in Sawala. And I just place that anywhere where the sun would naturally give me a little bit of a tan, press that into the skin and then it just gives you the most natural bronzed effect. Look at the difference. Oh, just love it. And now I just look like I've got a really nice bronzy glow. And then the best thing to go with a little bit of bronzer is a little bit of highlighter. So I'm going to take the right light in sunlight. If you ever get confused to where that goes, if you kind of move your head in the light a little bit, you'll see the light naturally catches the highest points. Tap that onto there. So just a tiny bit underneath there. So with this, kind of think of your little C. So your bronzer is your big C and then your highlighter is your little C. I'm just emphasising the natural um, way the light hits on my skin. I'm just going to pop that on the inner corner of my eyes. And this just instantly brightens the eyes and makes them look more awake. So I'm going to add a little bit of colour to my cheeks now and I'm going to use the lip to cheek in VB. I kind of do like the tops of the apples of the cheeks so I don't put it directly on the apples because I find when I stop smiling it kind of drops a little bit. Blend upwards and then I just do little circular patting motions to blend that in. The same brush that I've used for everything, I literally just go over the top really softly and I blend everything together. So just around those edges. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to go in with one of my favourite eye to eyes and this is in the shade Fortune and it's a really beautiful warm rose gold. I'm just popping this all over the lid and you can see it just kind of gives my eye a really nice warm wash. I'm going to take Sawala and I'm just going to pop a little bit of that in my crease to just give a little bit of depth and intensity. So what I like to do is I just pop that on the outer part, on the outer V of my eye and I just kind of wiggle it inwards a little bit. So now that we've got Sawala in the crease, you can see the definition that's given to the eye and it's just kind of deepened it a little bit. You can also take that on the lower lash line if you want to, but I'm going to keep it at that kind of intensity because I'm going to add a bright lip and I'm going to use the Lip Lux in Swainy, which is this beautiful orange red shade. Start on my Cupid's bow. So 
So that's it with the Lip Lux in Swainy on there. And what's really great about the Lip Luxes is that you can also wear them as a stain. So if you just take your ring finger, you can just like dot it on a little bit and really work that into the lips. It will just wear as a little bit more of a stain as opposed to something that's super bright um, like I've got on today. But that's my finished glam look, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you found it somewhat fun and entertaining. If you've got any questions, then drop them down below. Have a great day, guys. Bye.